All right, so this is Red One. It's the newest Christmas movie that just came out, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Chris Evans, and it's directed by Jake Kasdan. Uh, I remember seeing some images of this. Uh, one in particular, it was The Rock and Chris Evans, and clearly it's some kind of Christmas movie, but I remember seeing the pictures and going, this doesn't look like it's getting a theatrical release. Like, this looks like a director streaming movie. Like, The Rock has done some of those before. I was like, okay, this looks like one of those. Um, but no, this got a theatrical release. I saw it in the theater yesterday. And some people have been talking about it. I've been hearing some things about the really high budget and, you know, people are upset with The Rock. People aren't really liking this too much. <laughs> but whatever. I saw it and I definitely have some things to say about it. Jack O'Malley, played by Chris Evans, he's this master infiltrator slash hacker uh, character. And he infiltrates someplace and gets something for the villains in this. It was kind of messy and kind of confusing. I couldn't exactly really tell you what exactly he did for them or got for them. But he did that for the villains in this, and they end up using that to get into the North Pole and kidnap Santa. Um, and it's only like two days or so before Christmas, so they really got to get him back. So this agency that I guess deals with fantasy characters, almost like I guess the Men in Black, <laughs> but for fantasy characters, I guess, and they keep a lid on things so people don't know, I guess, uh, they go and get him, and they're like, we really need to get Santa back, so we need your help to do so. So we got Callum Drift, played by Dwayne Johnson. He's like the main bodyguard person for, for Santa and him and Santa are really close. They get together and they work together to be able to find the villain and then also find Santa before Christmas. So this movie is not good. Uh, it, it's not. I, I haven't seen anybody really defend it all that much. Uh, and there's quite a bit to talk about, but we'll start off with positives like I always do. Uh, Chris Evans, that's the main positive here. His character is the best character. And his performance is the best, I think, because this movie is written horribly. <laughs> I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous with all these. It, it's messy as hell with all these, uh, you know, these concepts thrown in here and these you know, acronyms and things like that. It really is ridiculous. And I'll get to it in a second. You need that audience surrogate. You need that person in there that's like, what the hell are you talking about? What the hell is all this? And I think he does the best job at that. I mean, there's certain lines where it's like that they're giving it so seriously and it's like man this is ridiculous and it's it's nice to have a character be there to, to, to pretty much say that to react to it too uh, and i think he's great in that uh the rock i think he's all right because he's pretty much doing what he always does i mean he doesn't have pretty much any range at all he's barely an actor <laughs> um, so you know i guess he's all right uh there's a few action scenes that i like uh the one where this this agency whatever it is that deals with the with santa and them when they go to get him, when Santa, uh, after Santa uh, gets kidnapped, uh, you know they have these guns that can knock you out, but you're still standing. And I thought there's some good choreography there with him trying to avoid them and and things like that. Some good camera work too. Uh, I thought it was edited all right too for an action scene. So that was all right. There's also this scene with some uh, snowmen, and specifically when Chris Evans is fighting them, right? He tries to push one of their heads on like a grill or whatever. Uh, I like that. I, I think. Because I'm about to savage the effects in this movie. So I think it's only right that I praise them for the effects that look good. And that's uh, those giant snowmen, they look good. They look convincing, right? I think that's one of the best looking things in this movie. Yeah, so that worked. And I thought the North Pole looked really good. It's not in uh, like a huge amount of the movie because they're mostly just going around. But um, whenever you do see it, it's like, okay, this looks good. This is, this is what I would imagine the North Pole looks like. There's some... Uh, there was definitely some effort put into this. It, it looks good. The movie is so ridiculous. And these characters, most of them, are taking it so goddamn serious. I mean, just ex just describing it to you. So Santa in this, he's pretty much treated like the president. <laughs> like, he goes to a mall to pretend to be one of, uh, to be a, just a mall Santa. He turns out to be, obviously, the real Santa. Which is kind of, eh, that was kind of clever. That was kind of fun, but... Uh, <laughs> when he leaves, he gets into a truck and there's like a line of trucks going out like, he, like he's the president. <laughs> he has these bodyguards that like talk to each other and everything like that and try to figure out, um, make sure everything's cool. They're like the Secret Service. Um, the Rock in this, uh, he has this really close relationship with him, things like that. He's almost like Gerard Butler's character in Olympus Has Fallen for Santa. So... <laughs> You have dramatic scenes where they'll throw in Christmas lines of dialogue. It is absolutely terrible. Like there's a point where the where the rock knocks somebody out and he goes, seriously goes, good tidings, and then walks off. It is fucking terrible. It's so terrible that it, it actually turned around to being funny. 
the, the list goes on and on. Like the things that they can they can do, like <laughs> they can shrink and grow things, which we'll talk about a little bit more later, but they can take toys and they can bend the reality of those toys and make, like they can make a car, and uh, a toy car into an actual car. Um, they, can, they, they have the, um, the Rock'em Sock'em robots and they, they make them big and then they're fighting. That was kind of cool. Um, and that effect was all right too. But it's like this world is just so messy like there's all these creatures everywhere. It makes no sense that, that that this agency, whatever it is, with Lucy Liu can keep a lid on this stuff. Even just with the stuff happening in this movie, like it's kind of like an MIB type thing. But they don't have the little flash thing that you could use to wipe people's memory. I have no idea how people don't know about these things. Like when a giant, multiple giant snowmen attack people <laughs> on a beach, and then people get frozen solid while this is happening. The weather changes because of the villain right before that. There's no way that people wouldn't know. And then you see a bunch of creatures in here, right? There's some creatures in the North Pole that you... None of them do anything. You don't even need it. You could have saved <laughs> by not having those involved in here. I mean, the world just doesn't feel... It doesn't feel real when you're watching it. It doesn't feel like they fleshed it out and thought it out and everything like that. It just feels like whatever they could throw in, right? Like, um, I guess somebody thought this was cool. It comes off more as ridiculous. Uh, every toy store, <laughs> the uh, the supply closet of every toy store on the planet <laughs> is a portal for them to use. And they can go anywhere with these portals. It's just like, that's such a wild ass concept. Can anybody use that? Like just uh, somebody who's just working in the toy store, like would they do it and just automatically, it just accidentally end up somewhere else? This is like, it's such a weird thing. Me just explaining this to you. Uh, it's just the villain in this movie is an evil witch that wants to uh, kidnap Santa, which she did kidnap Santa, use the magic that I guess is just in his body <laughs> to <laughs> use the naughty list to trap people who were on the naughty list, even if they did something real small, into a snow globe to keep in her collection, and that's her way. Of making the world a better place. It's just like, what the fuck is this? And you think you're, I'm, I'm saying that, and you're thinking this movie is ridiculous and goofy, which yeah it is, but so much of it is played for serious. Like the Rock gives these these lines seriously, and it's just like, you're you're blown away by it. It's like this is stupid. Who fucking wrote this trash? It does. It, it's written badly. It doesn't play out all that well. The minute you think about, about about it too much, things start to fall apart. Like uh, Jack having this backstory of when he was a kid, he was um, making bets with the other kids to prove, to find their presence and prove that Santa didn't exist. When he's an adult, he still doesn't believe in Santa. Like <laughs> Santa exists in this world, so it automatically doesn't make sense that people don't believe in him. But that's with a lot of movies. But this makes sense even less because this kid is actively trying to prove that Santa doesn't exist. But he does, so he would he would prove the opposite naturally. But no, he got to adulthood still thinking Santa didn't exist. Other than Chris Evans, because I guess his business as usual for The Rock and Lucy Liu and stuff like that, they give all these things, these these lines seriously. Uh, at one point, The Rock is like, oh, it was a, uh, an unauthorized use of magic. And it goes back to Chris Evans. He's like, huh. <laughs> it's like, yes, somebody is reacting to this, but it's not enough. It's not enough uh, with just Chris Evans. This is just dumb. And let's talk about the thing that I really need to talk about. Right. The most embarrassing part of this, other than, I guess, the writing. So there is bad, like really bad effects in this almost the entire way through. Like I said, there are some things that look good, but for the most part, these effects are horrible. The, 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 the polar bear picks up Chris Evans. It's very clear that he's not really being lifted up and that polar bear looks bad just in general. All these creatures look bad, like these little creatures that are in the North Pole or, or, or wherever. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a part where the rock gets picked up towards the end. That looks bad. Uh, the, the reindeer, they look bad. But the thing that really, because, you know, whatever, it's a CGI creature or whatever. It doesn't look, look good. That's bad enough. But when you have human beings doing things, and it's like, wow, that is not a human being right now. It's not even convincing at all. So, um, like, there's a point where The Rock jumps off of a building. And he, he he's on another building. He starts running. This is when the, uh, Santa first gets kidnapped. And 
the it, he's like running and the movie like speeds up like he speeds up while he's doing it it looks so awkward and weird um and that happens a lot like there's also santa doing some crazy stuff towards the end and that looks bad and that's sped up like that too um there's points where uh, uh the rock is uh, finding somebody and he'll be shrinking and growing while it's happening so you'll have little small the rock and he's grabbing somebody by the leg and toss him around and everything and it doesn't look real at all i'm talking like some of the worst effects of like a cw superhero show i mean it's on that level i don't know who would look at this and think this is okay i mean it is embarrassing it really is a mess it really is ridiculous just whatever they can throw in here um yeah a couple of the action scenes are all right and i like chris evans in it but other than that, it's pretty it's pretty worthless <laughs> to, to me. Other than, and this is kind of a like a soft recommendation, uh, to laugh at it, ironically. I mean, this is this might be so bad it's good, or so bad it's fun at least, because I was laughing a lot, but not at the jokes. I think of the of the actual jokes in the movie, I may have laughed twice. <laughs> but it, it's it's mainly just how bad the movie is written, where like a lot of it just doesn't make sense, and it's like, okay, you didn't really take any time to make sure all this shit you threw in here actually made sense and felt like an actual real cohesive world within the movie but the way it looks too i mean the the effects are just they're laughably bad i mean that alone that alone is enough to to um to watch this just for that don't watch it in the theater but it is a soft recommend to watch it when it goes on to the place it should have been in the first place which is streaming because it really is that bad especially to look at I wish, I wish I could, I could put a little bit of the effects in this video to really showcase it, which I would, but the movie's still in the theater. So maybe watch it when it's on streaming to laugh at it, but other than that, it's worthless. And I'm giving it trash. So that is um, Red One. almost forgot the name of the, <laughs> name of the movie. Um, and yeah, that's it. I didn't even mention J.K. Simmons. I guess he was good. But that's the thing, he's kidnapped, so he's not in a lot of it. Anyway, yeah, that's... Red one, trash, and we're done.